Well, if you're looking to enroll more clients and do it in a way that you feel confident and build your relationships and set up your client coaching relationship to success, you're definitely in the right place. Now, in this video today, I'll walk you through some practical steps why uh, using a script as it's given to you, a generic script, is not the best thing you can do to have that kind of uh, relationship from the beginning with your prospects as you go through your sales calls. I'll talk about some ways to customize that sales script and also um, with, that would also allow you to show up authentically as you and with a lot more confidence and certainty. So I'm Colin Yearwood and over the last few years I've sold over $3 million in coaching for myself and for my clients and what I've been doing over the last couple of years is helping other coaches do the same thing. You don't have to be uh, show, you don't have to show up in a way that's outside of alignment of who you are as a coach to sell and enroll clients into your programs. And that's what I'm here to share with you. Now, today's topic is tremendously important because a lot of coaches feel, hey, call in, let me get a script. What's the best script I can use to enroll more people? And usually it's not a sales script you're looking for, right? It's not a script. There's a more of a process and we'll talk about that. So I'll share with you in this video why you should customize any generic script to um, align with who you are as a person, and I'll talk about that. Now, the first thing you may want to do, as I fix my screen, the first thing I'd recommend you do is think of your script, think of your script as a sales process and not a script. Because when I think of a script, you think of something that you have to follow word, word for word, right? It's like a rule book, it's a guide, it's something that you know, you, you ha if you know, you when you think of a script, you think of a, a movie, like an actor in a movie or a TV, TV series, they're following, they're reading that script line for line. That's not what you do as a coach in sales conversation. A script is more of a guide and it also gives you a structure to the conversation, but you don't have to follow it word for word. One of the most challenging things I've experienced with coaches in my sales coaching gym, that's the program that I, I run, they come to the sales coaching gym, they've been part of another coaching program that's teaching them how to build their coaching business, but they're given a generic script and say, hey, go and do this. And there's such a huge disconnect in that process. So number one is understanding that you don't have to follow the script the way it's given to you. And that might be the reason why most coaches or you may be challenged with enrolling paid clients into your program. Now, the next thing you want to do is use that script. You think of the script, not even use the script, but think of the script as an outline for your conversation. You're using that script or that process to stay on track. There are certain key points that you have to hit when you're, go when you're on sales calls. Um, you don't have to hit them, but I recommend you hit them. And we'll cover that in another video, maybe on the channel, it may be popping up right there at the end of the video. But there are certain, thi there are certain things that you have to do when you're going through an enrollment call. And once you use the script as an outline for a process you're following, you will really basically help your clients get a lot more clarity when it comes to uh, what is it their the direction they're looking to go in. But also one of the things about having a process and an outline to that conversation, it helps you to better qualify that client to see if they're a good fit for you. One of the best things you can do as a coach is on that enrollment conversation or sales call, whatever you want to call it, it's a two way street, right? It's one, number one, the, you're auditioning, you're qualifying the client to see if they're a good fit for you, for what you do. And if, and if you actually believe you can help them, that would set you up for a win-win relationship down the road. Yes, I've enrolled people just because I needed the money. That was in the past, right? And I, I know you may be in that position, but it creates a lot of angst and a lot of anxiety because you may not be sure how you can show up for that person. And sometimes you end up disappointing the client. So on the sales calls is a two way street. You're qualifying them to see if they're a good fit for you. And they're actually listening to see if you can actually help them with the problem that they have. Because many times many coaches focus on solving the problem that they want to solve, not the problem that the client want to have. But when you use this process of having your script as an outline, you'll hit some key points in that conversation that allows you to really show up uh, powerful for them and get from the conversation what you need rather than getting through the conversation. The next thing you wanna do is find your voice. You wanna dive in and find your voice. And 
with a generic sales script, you're using someone else's words, someone else's cadence as they go through that, a pattern that someone else designed. So you want to incorporate in that sales script your authentic, your authentic self, right? And you want that to shine through. One of the ways you can do that is by going through the script and editing it to include, you don't want to change the structure, right? But you want to edit it to change the wording and some of the phrases that you use and where you want to make it more customized to you. And that helps add your personality, allow, allows you to feel authentic as you go through those conversations. And as you do that, it is becomes a lot more empowering on the call because you're showing up with more certainty because you're being you, you're not pretending to be someone else. The next thing, next thing that a lot of coaches don't do is practice, 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 rehearse that sales process, right? Rehearse that sales process until it becomes natural to you. Second nature, the more you're able to go through that process without looking at a script or just trying to remember things word for word, uh, the more you'll be able to show up in the moment and present. And that's one of the biggest things I think most people miss on sales calls. If you're reading the script, you sound like a robot and you sound very disconnected. But when you're showing up in an authentic way, you're taking the time to edit the script and add, you know, some some of your some of the words you use, some of the terminology that relates to you, some of the phrasing that you use in there, you're now able to when you practice, show up more like you. One what I mean by practice is not learning the script line for line, but it's learning the key parts of the process, right? Here's what I do first. Here's what I do second. And then in, in, in depending on the sales call you're doing, and there'll be anywhere from five to seven parts to the sales call, right? And I'll share that on this channel. I think there may be in another video there already. If not, I'll just remind me in the comments and I'll put that video up there to talk about uh, the process to have an effective sales call to enroll uh, more coaching clients. But one of the, as I go back to the point is practice. You want to practice that process. You can do it in the mirror. And that's totally cool, right? You can do it in the mirror, which I've done in the mirror several times, but you can also uh, get into more conversations without the intent. You know, I wouldn't say without the intent of selling, but with the intent of following the process. There are many times I've gotten to sales, got into uh, potential sales calls. I didn't know if they were going to go that way or not, but I was just committed to following the process. Even if the person was difficult to navigate or they, sometimes you have to really rein people in to stay with the process because the process is for their benefit, as I mentioned before, as to you. So I would get into calls just to practice and I would follow through on that, that steps. Also, another thing you want me to want to do is just get on video. I know a lot of people say, Hey, I'm scared to get on video, get in a video with yourself, put your phone down, just go through that process. You may want to do it with your family member, with a friend, but the more repetitions you get in, when you get on a call with a prospect that potentially want to enroll with you, it's second nature. It's natural to you, right? It's not the first time you're doing it. So I would suggest that you go about, you should look to aim for 10 to 20 practice sessions and you try to get as many in as possible. And that's what we do in the sales coaching gym is, uh, the members of the gym, their coaches at different stages of their coaching uh, journey but they get an opportunity to practice doing their sales calls and they get some critiques, they get some feedback that allows them to grow. And you don't, you know, sometimes in the sales coaching gym, we practice the entire sales, sales call process, right? But all we may just practice a certain part of it, wherever you may feel uh, weak. So that's one of the things we do in the sales coaching gym. Now, the last part of this process I want to share with you is let me just bring the screen up. Let the prospect, let the process reflect who you are. Let the process reflect who you are. In most sales conversations, people automatically sense if you're nervous, sense if you're unsure of yourself. But once you're showing up authentically you and with a certain a high level of confidence and certainty, which comes from customizing any generic script that you get, following the steps in the process here, when you show up with a high level of certainty and confidence, because you know, you're following a process that you have dialed in, you understand the reason why you're doing it. Uh, and you're following all the other, um, techniques and strategies that I teach about, uh, enrolling coaching clients, you will exude, exude that energy and people will see your certainty. People actually know when you're reading from a script, because guess what? You put your eyes down and then you look up, right? And you put your eyes down and then you look up. They get that feel. It's your song robotic. But many times if you're reading from a script, exactly how it's created for you, you're not asking the right follow-up questions. 
You're, you, you're not, you, the, you're just asking questions on a script, but you're not listening to them to really go deeper with them. People detect that when it's happening. So in order now for you to enroll more clients in a way that makes you feel confident, certain, and, um, Less salesy. I don't like using that term salesy, but a lot of coaches say, hey, I don't want to feel salesy. If you want to say less salesy, don't just pick up a generic script and just, you know get on calls and just try to recite it. Take that script, customize it to, to match you, who you are, your, tona your tonality, the language, the terminology you use, and the things that make you stand out. Embrace that and allow you to show up with confidence and enroll more clients. Now, if you enjoyed this video, want more content like this, you can... Uh, Subscribe, definitely, and uh, put on the announcements. I post videos often, but also you can get resources over at colinyearwood.com. All that's going to be in the description. See you in the next video.